Why are you watching this? Shouldn't you be coding? What are you doing? This isn't a rhetorical question. I would like you to say out louder in your head what you're doing. If you said anything but watching this video, you're wrong. Or at least half wrong. Whatever's worse. Are you watching this and listening to music? Playing a game? Or maybe even the title of the video, writing code? Have you not been focusing? Write me a brief summary of five things you did this week in the comment section. What's on your to-do list? Do you have one? What's the last thing you accomplished today? Do you feel like you did what you need to do today? What if today was your last day? Did you finish that big project yet? Did you make a video? What about a helpful article? What code did you write? What about self-improvement then? Did you start reading any of those books? Did you read any articles? Did you watch any informative videos? Did you exercise? Did you eat healthy? Did you walk your dog? Have you kept any of those promises you made to yourself and others lately? Why? Why not? Did you spend your day overanalyzing every little detail of every available choice for how to spend your time? Did you go out of your way to avoid the most important task in your life? The ones you know, if asked, are the things you should have done? Why would you go out of your way to avoid doing the things you need to do? Are you afraid of something? Failing? Is failing really that scary? So you get no reward for your efforts. Is being a tree fell in the woods with no one to hear all that poor of a fate? Maybe you're afraid of how others will feel when they know you're struggling to do things. Are you concerned with the opinions of perfect strangers? Maybe you're worried about embarrassing yourself in front of people who used to know you from work or school. Maybe you're afraid of disappointing all your friends and loved ones that supported you over the years. That yes, you're afraid of never meeting your dreams, but you're even more afraid of how others would perceive that failure. Maybe others never knowing would be better than seeing the ugly truth that yes. I'm scared, Adrian! Alright, I said it! Scared all the years of staring at a screen alone in the dark won't ever amount to anything. That due to the nature of your work, you're going to die not only alone, but unremembered. That being unremembered is a terrible fate, but the feeling of shame is somehow even worse. That the feeling of being forgotten is somehow better than the feeling of being mocked. It's okay to have feelings like that. It's alright to be scared. It's alright to admit that those words hurt. That you really want people to not only like you, but the things you contribute to the world. It's perfectly fine and even normal to seek validation from others. And it's normal to even fear not receiving it. I have learned over the years that when one's mind is made up, this diminishes fear. Knowing what must be done does away with fear. Rosa Parks.